I saw you when you were young. You hear me? Yes, sir. And you face a serious trouble. Yes, sir. Well, your upbringing. Yes, yes, it's true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know. Uh, it nearly rained you. Yes, sir. It has really rained you, but you put yourself in control. Yes, sir. You understand? Because in your family, there's the spirit of lust. Yes, sir. That control everybody. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. The spirit sir. nearly control you. To control your father. Control your father's father. Everyone there. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, so sir. Overcome this spirit now. Yes, sir. You will overcome it. You yes, sir. Amen. This thing you are praying for of being used by God yes, sir. will start to manifest. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because you have been praying, God. Choose someone in my family. So choose me. Amen. Choose yes, me. Sir. Let me touch you here. Uh, bring him here. Jesus' name. Uh, you are free. You are free. When I was praying for you, just hearing things moving all over your body. Tell this boy is not fair. It's not okay. Rise up. You, many times you don't feel okay. Yes, sir. Huh? Because when I pray for you, I feel things moving all over my body. So you are free. You are free to the God. The death of this lady is worrying you. Huh? The death of this lady is worrying you. Sometimes, it's like when you are sleeping, you are seeing her. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Don't worry. Don't worry. God loves you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. God loves you and you won't die. You still have many years to live. Amen. to lose a partner at your age. So I believe God will fight for you. So can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Gratitude Chabangu. I'm coming from Nigeria. Today during the service, the man of God located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Well, the man of God, he, he just prayed for me and he therefore said um, the, the death of my wife he shouldn't worry me. And he actually said when I'm sleeping, even during the night, I... I often have the thoughts of her and it's disturbing me a lot. And he therefore said I shouldn't worry because um, God will fight for me mm -hmm. and I shall live. And do you confirm the prophecy to be true? If yes, please tell us in detail. Well, um, the man of God is right because um, this year early, um, I lost her, it was in Feb. So it really, really disturbed me because of um, even at work, they would often mock me that they've never seen a, a young man at my age who, who lost their wife. But I knew that God will fight for me. Yes. And how do you feel after you were located today by the man of God and he ministered upon you? Well, um, I'm grateful and thankful to God because uh, it tells me that God, he sees my situation and I'm happy about it. Amen. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's going through what you went through? Well, all that I can say is that um, if you really want to see God come to Charis, <laughs> Amen. And um, God knows our situation and he's willing and determined to, to help us. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes, it's true. You hear me? Yes. So we need to pray for you. Thank you. 
songs now, I'm seeing threats now. Yes. I'm seeing, it's like on the phone, I'm seeing messages of threats. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. So now, whoever that is owing you money, they must give you your money back. Thank you, Jesus. So, huh? Huh? Because I'm seeing messages of threats. Hey, yes. Never. People are threatening you. Yo. Huh? Yes. You are saying Never. Never. Hey. Brother, Never. you receive your money. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Never. Amen. Never. Never. Let me get a help there. There's this demon that whispered to your ear. Can, can you just come here? This woman. Are you aware you have a demon? Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Sometimes you feel like someone is following you. Yes. Huh? <laughs> And you feel like you heard something here mm -hmm. in your ear. This is a demon. This is a mantrosy demon, this one. Ooh. I'm sure you can help her. This thing that she's hearing in the ear must stop today in Jesus' name. Come on, you must stop right now. You must pray for your mom. You hear me? Yes. I'm seeing sickness on your mom. Yeah, she's complaining a lot about her legs. Yeah, her legs, yeah. So now you need to pray for your mom. Yes, I will. Because I'm seeing this is high blood. Yes, yes. You know, that is starting to develop. Yes, I'll so pray for you. must pray for her. Yeah. I believe she's free. believe God can restore your job? Yes, I believe. I no? believe men of God. Yes, mm. I believe men this of God. This dismissal has affected your Christianity. Yes, men of God. Your life went down. Yes, so, men of God. Because you're worrying a lot. Yes, men of God. So, let's believe God can restore your, your job. Amen. Amen. I believe God will do it. Amen. Those Amen. that are Thank wrong, you. they must be replaced. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you stretch your hands to this man, all of you? and see his faith is going down. Let's pray. Pray for him. Pray for him. Aye. Losing faith and losing trust. Pray. Just pray for him. Pray for him. Sometimes when a dark cloud comes, it's because there's something new that God wants to do. Not all uh, disappointments are disappointments. You know, some, it's a promotion. Say you are free. I am free. From what? From this demon. Say it's leaving me. It's leaving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Where's your wife, sir? Come, your wife. Your wife needs deliverance. Come, sis. Come. You need deliverance. Come. Come, you demon. Jesus, this thing will never happen to him. So, 
Satan wants you to lose everything you have. I'm sure you see everything is going down. Yes, man. And you're asking yourself why my things are going down. Mm. And this woman, she's a sick person. And she grew up being sick, sick, sick. Mm. But now she's like better now. Mm. But you don't have money. You understand? The time when you have money, she'll be sick. Mm. When you don't have money, she's okay. So we are going to enjoy yourself. So you're going to get breakthrough from now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. When did you get married? 25th November. God bless you. Uh, I just want to congratulate you. Amen. Uh, there's a baby that is coming. Amen. That baby will be like myself. Amen. Do you want a baby who can preach the gospel in the future? We already have three. <laughs> you need another one like me. <laughs> God bless. Sir, so you lost your house. Huh? You lost your house. Huh? You believe God can give you another one? Mm. I see Mama crying a lot. Come in, Mama. You lost the house, Mama. Huh? Yes. Don't worry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I see you people packing your things, getting out of the house. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. The cloud that is on top of you <laughs> will move away. I say the cloud will move away. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Rabbi Kekan and this is my wife, Bongi. We're from Edinville. Today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Well, he said you we've got a cloud over our head and um, he prayed for us and he mentioned that uh, this will be removed from us with all whatever the surroundings that we were facing. And he actually prophesy us that it is a property that we have lost and he will give us God will give us another one. Amen. And what are these challenges that the men of God was speaking about and how were they affecting you? Well they did affect us because of the in fact this was caused mainly by the slowdown with the past for the past two years, including the epidemic time. That is actually the cause of all the income slowdown. So but he actually assured us of this when it was God with us and you'll just resuscitate and we'll just go back to where we were before. Yes. And how do you feel that today you were located and the man of God declared restoration upon your lives? Areas obviously actually allocated us when it's something that was unexpected obviously. And he usually as soon as God will restore whatever we've lost. And we just want to bless in our lives as well. How do you feel about that? Oh we feel alright. I mean we just and we've been blessed and we actually be thankful about it. Thank you.